Cam Barr for Cam's Mortgage Minute. Hey, today let's talk a little bit about condominiums. Uh, I was reading a recent article and it said that condominiums are on the rise. Well, basically the fact that more and more people going forward are going to be living in condominiums. Uh, they feel that the uh, low interest rates we've enjoyed so far have brought a lot of people into the housing market. However, with the slowing job growth and the jump in interest rate, more people are going to be forced to live in condos. A national household survey looked at condominiums in their entirety and they concluded that condominium living is on the rise in urban centers. I think that's something we all knew. And the interesting numbers that came out of this were that back in 2011, home ownership reached 69%. Now you contrast that to 1971 when home ownership was at 60.3%. Now you would think, hey, well, it's not a huge jump, but it is significant, especially in light of the fact that the population of Canada has increased significantly since 1971. So when you couple that increase with the population increase, those are some pretty big numbers. Now, according to CIBC's Benjamin Tall, he thinks there's going to be the beginnings of what he considers to be a shift and that more uh, people are going to be living in cities like Toronto and, uh, in, and not in the sense that they're going to be living there, but more families are going to be living in condominiums. Instead of smaller condos, he feels that we're going to see larger condos, so more and more that will be the trend. Instead of people getting into single-family homes, families will be moving into condominiums, and he feels that the trend is going to reverse, and we're going to see larger and larger condominiums being built. Now, when you look at all the major cities, uh, you find out that 76.8% of all condo dwellers live in the 10 largest markets. Uh, Toronto, Vancouver, and Montreal account for a whopping 53.5% of all Canadian households and condominiums. So when we see a slowdown in the condo market in any one of these three centers, you can see what a drag that has on the overall sales level and what an impact these folks account for. And it's uh, basically the clear group that makes up the largest amount of condo dwellers are single folks. 45.5% uh, of the people that own condominiums are single folks. So they're not married, they're not with anyone, they're just by themselves. And again, this is a trend that CIBC is thinking or uh, is that it's going to be changing as time goes forward. The other interesting number is the average annual income, household income for condominium owners, was more than 33% below the other types of home ownership. Now that would make some logical sense, especially if a lot of them are single singles. Uh, there's no dual household income to account for and also if it's a lot of first-time buyers generally their income's lower than the folks that have been around a while and they make higher income so that would account for it as well but if we're going to see this trend come true is what mr tall's professing what we're probably going to see is the fact that there will be folks who don't have uh, great household incomes but by combining their household incomes they can get into a condominium that hopefully is larger they can't quite afford the house but this may be the trend of the future. Again, it remains to be seen, but certainly there would be something that will keep the condominium market driving forward. Now, what impact will that have on the residential housing market? Well, that remains to be seen. We have a lot of other factors like immigration, job creation, where interest rates go. I mean, all of these different factors are definitely going to play into the market overall. Again, always exciting, always interesting. I always like to uh, take a look at these things because they do shed some light on where things are going and where uh, they possibly could come out to. Anyways, if you need anything mortgage-wise, you're looking for a condominium, you want to get into the market, you're a first-time buyer, you're a seasoned buyer, uh, you're a young family that needs something that's an alternative and can't quite uh, get into the housing market, let us know. We'd be more than happy to assist you here at the Auxilium team. It's Cam the Mortgage Man. Enjoy your day.